Hello everyone and welcome to Great Delton. Today we will be completing the final segment of the first half of the layout which will be the area under this bridge. The plan here is to build a model of the M1 motorway as this bridge I have constructed is based on one that crosses the M1. The main difference being that this one that I've modelled is of the main chunk of the West Coast Main Line but in reality this bridge only carries the two Northampton Loop Line tracks over the motorway. This won't be an overly intricate scene, but for the sake of realism and detail I'll be modelling this area of the M1 when it was going under the smart motorway roadworks, as not only will this give me an opportunity to add a bit of extra detail, but those roadworks were the bane of my life for a good three years when I had to drive through them every day to get to work, so there's a personal touch there too. You can see here from this picture that there are roadwork signs, cones, concrete bollards, the purple trunking, among other things, and of course the road surface itself has variation, with the newly laid fourth lane a little bit darker and smoother colour than that of the existing motorway, so it should make for a good build. I'm going to be modelling this scene on a separate board due to major access restraints under this low bridge, and then sticking the whole scene in once completed. I have here the backboards to an IKEA set of drawers that I haven't told my wife that I'm using, but it is the perfect thickness for what I need. The first job will be to cut these to size and then have the road surface painted. And uh, welcome back. In that long montage of clips we saw this road surface be completely painted in the general grey and then we've got these darker bits at the edge here which are the newly laid fourth lanes which were previously hard shoulders and then we've got the solid white lines to indicate the um, limits of the motorway. I've got a little bit of concrete hard standing just on the ends here and then we have the obviously the dotted lines for the lanes and then I've also gone down each of the lanes with a general strip of weathering um, as is seen in real life. So that's virtually most of the painting. I might add a couple of small patches here and there from where the road has been repaired in the past. But for now we're going to move on to the detailing of this scene and the first thing we're going to look at is the central reservation which in this case is temporary concrete crash barriers. Now I've got some here prepared. Uh, prepared. Um, these are from 3D Wagon Works, which are 3D printed models, and I'm just going to 
place them in the middle to give you an idea of how this is going to look. What I've got here is the central bridge support which I've uh, conjured up and that's obviously going to support the two uprights which then will support the bridge because in real life there is a central bridge support um, which comes across the motorway. So these are just loosely in for now but you can see what I'm trying to achieve with them. I'm not going to stick them down just yet because this board is quite flexible. So if I stick them down, there's a chance they're probably going to break off again when I'm transferring it. So I'll stick these parts down when the actual board is stuck in place. But I can stick this one down because it's only cork and plastic hard, which is quite flexible. So I'm going to stick that down and then we're going to look at some more detailing. Right, I uh, decided to take this scene inside to stick all these details down. It's just a bit easier doing it at my desk inside. The only thing is the lighting is very poor inside, so I decided not to film it. So I'm just going to take you through what I've done here. You'll first notice all of these traffic cones. I think there's about 40 odd in total. These are from 3D Wagon Works, as is a lot of the stuff on this scene. Uh, they come on a small sprue like this. I've cut each one out. I've painted it with this Rail Match orange colour. And then I've used a paint pen just to add the white stripes on them. They were quite difficult to do, but they have turned out quite effective. And from a distance you can't tell any sort of discrepancies in the paintwork. Next we've got these roadwork signs, again from 3D Wagon Works. He also provided the decals for these. I just spray painted the frames in aluminium spray paint and then added the decals on top and they've turned out quite nicely too. Again, the Armco barriers here are from 3D Wagon Works and again they've just been spray painted in aluminium. Something we don't see very often on roadworks is an actual road worker here next to a relay box. That's a Graham Farris scene craft figure and that is a ratio kit. The last thing that I added were the central bollards. Now originally I wasn't going to do this um, because of the flexibility of the board but then I remembered it would be easier to stick this purple conduit on top of it all if it was out. So I've added these and I've just got to be a bit more delicate when handling the board. So this scene is more or less ready to go in now. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to stick it in and then there's a bit of blending to do. And the last major job will be the two bridge supports, which obviously support the bridge as is seen in real life. Right, currently that is setting. Um, I've glued the road down in the place where it's supposed to be with some Gorilla Glue and I've just got all these weights on top of it to keep some pressure on it as it dries. So I've got two remaining jobs really, well three if you count adding the vehicles and these jobs are blending this in with the surrounding area because you've got these gaps here between the road surface and the surrounding terrain. I've got a few bits here of some, um, some bare cork which is showing through which I need to decorate and over the back here I'm not sure how but I've got this large gap where the scenery sort of tapers off a bit from the road surface um, but that, that side's pretty good over there that's lined up quite accurately so all I'm going to do here is sort of put some bushes in just to hide the areas of the gaps same over here and then the other job to do is of course make the two central bridge supports which will go on that base there Right, here is the scene as we see it currently. The road has all dried and it's looking quite good. So we can move on to doing the two central bridge supports as seen in real life. If we see from the picture here, it's more or less a cylindrical structure up until the point where it gets to the bracket just before the bridge. All I'm going to be doing is the cylindrical structures all the way up to the top to save on complexity. What I have here is two polystyrene rods of different diameter and it so happens that one fits inside another so you can see there's this sort of step here. So I'm going to cut this one, the thinner one, to this length here and then I shall make this one a bit shorter. One shall fit inside the other and then that's more or less all I'm going to do. I'll paint them a concrete colour, add the lines which we see in the photo where the joints meet in some sort of pen or I might score them with a scalpel so that I can add some black wash to weather them a bit 
I'll airbrush them down and install them and that will be that job more or less finished. Here is the finished scene. On the right here I had a scale model scenery canal piling set which I've used. That's quite often seen on the side of motorways. I assume it's a different time, type of foundation but it just sort of looks similar so I've gone with that. I've stuck the scene in. We've got the central bridge supports finally. I've blended all of the gaps in with some foliage. And of course I've added all of the vehicles, most of which are Oxford diecast but there are a couple of Botch and Gauge Master vehicles in there. It just goes to show what the uh, lack of variation in engaged vehicles there are for modern image. But this scene is finished, it looks fairly good, and I'm just going to leave you with a few photos to finish with. No running shots on this, as I will have a layout update to um, post soon, where there will be a few running clips. This is only a short video, as it's quite a small scene anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this small build, and that has concluded the first half of the layout so I can finally start on the station side soon but for now I'll let you just enjoy this scene. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.